What's going on, East Hill? Pastor Emmanuel here. Just want to give you a quick word of encouragement that comes from Philippians 4, verse 4. Something that blessed me in my time in the Lord this morning. And it reads, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Now, when you hear the words rejoice and always in the same sentence, and then quickly reminded again to rejoice, it's crazy. It's crazy. And if you understand the context to this verse, the Apostle Paul is actually writing these words of encouragement to the church of Philippi while he is imprisoned. Now, that's nuts. That, that's far beyond me. But here's something that we need to take away from these words and from this letter is that even in the midst of persecution and imprisonment, the Apostle Paul chose that moment to not only rejoice in the Lord in his circumstance, but two, to share that very word of encouragement to the people that he loves. So here's the, how this applies to us as the church today. In the midst of what we're facing right now with COVID-19, with all of the things that are overwhelming us, with the fears, the anxiety, being stuck at home, not being able to enjoy the outside world or being in community with people, whether it's financial issues or health, even in the midst of moments like these, the Lord is telling us and encouraging us to rejoice in the Lord, even in the midst of this situation. To make this personal, and maybe some of you all might be, be able to relate, two years ago, my wife and I, experienced one of the most devastating moments in our lives. We had a son that was actually born three months premature. We called the NICU in Tacoma our home for the whole summer. And unfortunately, unfortunately due to pregnancy issues and, you know, unexpected health issues after he was born, he only lived with us for two weeks and went home to be with the Lord. We were devastated. Obviously, we had so many questions like, why, God, where are you in this? Like, this hurts. This, the pain I feel is agonizing. But one thing, even in the midst of pain and suffering and that trial that seemed like our faith was being tested, even in the midst of that, we chose and are still choosing today, two years later, to rejoice in the Lord, even in the midst of our pain and our grief and our sorrow. And to be honest with you, church, loved ones, we have found so much joy and comfort knowing that the Lord is with us. And the Bible also tells us that he is near and dear to the brokenhearted. We got to experience and we get to experience the Lord's heart for us firsthand. So let this encourage you. If you have walked through things like that, through grief, loss of a loved one, either if you're, if you're facing health challenges, if you're facing uncertainty with your finances, if you're facing whatever challenges that you're going through right now in 2020, my prayer, my heart, and hear me, please, hear me, please. My heart for you, and I believe God's heart for you, is that you would experience the presence of God like never before. And that all starts with you choosing to rejoice in the Lord, even in the midst of your circumstances. I love you, church. I love you so much. We're going to get through this. I promise you we're going to get through this. It might not make sense right now. It might feel so dark right now, but we are going to overcome. I love you. I love you. I love you. God bless.